Hey everyone, Giancarlo Veronini here at X11 where I just got to check out Batman Arkham City. It's the sequel to Batman Arkham Asylum and the first thing that strikes me about the demo that we just saw is just how much bigger Arkham City is than Arkham Asylum. Uh, it's five times bigger to be exact and we got a really early glimpse of that with Batman standing outside on a rooftop overlooking Arkham City and it's just absolutely massive. And of course, I mean, kind of the first idea that came into our head is how exactly is he going to get around this city in any easy way? Well, the answer to that is any number of different ways. Batman can actually use a, a gliding technique where he can fly around the city. Uh, he can do this dive bomb move where he uh, gains acceleration and kind of swoops back up, which allows him to gain altitude and fly through the air and get to where he needs to go. Uh, you also see things like helicopters, which you can actually grapple onto and kind of check things out in the city, see what's going on. This is all really important because while there is sort of a main uh, quest mode in Batman Arkham City, there's all these kind of side quests and things that you can do before you take on any sort of specific objective. So let's say you're, you're grappling onto a helicopter and you see thugs beating up some guy outside of this building. Well, you can actually jump off the helicopter, swoop down, slam a guy into the ground, kick everybody's butt, save the guy, and then go back to the main quest. Uh, but as for the main quest, we actually saw a little bit of it in the demo. Uh, in this case, we saw Two Faces kidnap Catwoman. Uh, he's brought her to a courthouse. He's about to kill her. Of course, Batman finds out that Catwoman's been kidnapped by Two Face. He goes to the building, saves her, and then it turns out, as right when he's saving her, that uh, the Joker sort of interjects himself into the picture and tries to assassinate Catwoman. So he tries, uh, basically tries to uh, use a sniper attack on her. We see the bullet come through the window, it hits the ground, makes this whole thing become a crime scene, so Batman has to use his detective vision, which you can use throughout the game like you could in the last one, uh, to basically see where the bullet came in through the window, where it hit the ground, and he can measure the trajectory of the bullet and trace it back to where it came from. So you find out that from this courthouse uh, in Arkham City, you can go to this bell tower, this church, uh, you can go all the way over there and see where the bullet came from. You can track down Joker, but you don't have to do that right away. You could stay at the courthouse, kind of explore a little bit more. Basically, go at your own pace. You can look for uh, Riddler statues, which are scattered all over this place, uh, all over the place this time around. They're in super hard to find spots. Um, but yeah, basically, the whole idea of this game is kind of you play it the way that you want to play it. You don't have to rush through and do everything right away. You can kind of check out Arkham City, find out what's going on. Uh, do these side quests before you head on to the main stuff. But yeah, it looks really impressive. Uh, the combat looks really fluid. Uh, as it did in the first game, we saw some new attacks, specially, specifically ones where Batman can attack two guys at once. Uh, saw a lot of aerial takedown maneuvers and things like that. Um, but yeah, it looks great. Uh, it sounds great. Um, got a little bit of a glimpse of the storyline, but we're interested to see how it pans out. Uh, but Batman Arkham City is due out later this year on Xbox 360 and PS3.